Welcome back, guys, to episode two of Killer Love. Yeah. All right. So there's something I found out about this game in between the breaks I took. So I found out that there's separate endings that you can you can go down separate routes. And uh, so I don't know which route we're going down right now, but I I don't think it's get, it hasn't given us much option. But I think later in the game it's going to give us more option. I'm pretty sure. So we'll figure that out. Alright, let's start. Oh shit, I fucked up. <laughs> I've already fucked up once. Alright, August 7th. My birthday! Alright, chapter 2, what Jack forgot. August 7th. I can't just sit here waiting. I've got to wait, and I got, and I will, but I feel like I can't wait either. I'm doing nothing. And it's eating my me up. If my if a stomach if a stomach is empty long enough, it starts eating itself. Do you know that? I know that. If I don't do something right now, I'm afraid I might go crazy. Oh, it's red. It's red. Mm. I'm going to write down everything that happened. Maybe maybe that'll make me help make some make sense of things. Right now my thoughts are buzzing together on my mind like flies around a turd. Great analogy. I just wanna take a second. That was a great analogy. It's true. Disgusting, but true. I want my mind to be clear. To do what I'm going to do and to do what I'm it properly may my mind needs to be clear. Unclouded. This notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write down everything. Everything down. It's not a long story. So, here it goes. Oh, here we go. We're actually somewhere else that, that's not the hospital. I met Anna met her again after so many years in the store I worked. Grace wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited the store when she did. It could have been. She must have been following me. The first time she came in I was at the cash register. She walked straight up to me cutting in line. <laughs> an, old w an old woman was busy counting her change and I didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Anna stood there for a while staring at me. Creepy. She, then she said, No. No, I can't do this. I can't start here. I can't do it. There's already too much of that woman in my life. I've got to start with someone else. Someone I miss. Grace! <laughs> Damn, Gracie. Grace was a girl who worked at the same store I worked at. She was, and uh, is, still is, a kind, sweet girl. Oh, fuck, what the fuck did I do? I went, fuck. Okay, we'll be right back. She's a little bit quiet, but perf but that's perfectly fine. I hated her. I hated most people. And most things. I was a real asshole. There we go. We fixed it. It's fine. I didn't spend time with other people. Whenever a cow- a cow- <laughs> a cow- a co-worker invited me somewhere, I turned them down. Imagine if that was a, imagine a coworker was cow worker. That'd be fucked. I didn't chat with anyone during breaks either. It was just how I was. How I'd always been. I avoided Grace too, of course. She tried to talk to me a few times, 
but then I started avoiding her even more. I only took shifts I thought she wouldn't take. Then times we still ended up w working together. I stayed far away from her, as far away from her as I could. It worked for a while. Then came the day we talked, really talked, for the first time. Oh, here we go, what voice are we gonna give Grace? I was restocking shelves alongside an old greasy long-haired man when Grace came along. I didn't even look at her. Instead, I became very interested in stacking cans of food onto the sh lower shelves. Oh yeah. I waited for her to leave. Um, Don, can you switch with me? All right. You can go help Susie. I already told. I already did the bottom shelves there. Don, the old man, thanked her and left. And Grace started working next to me. A minute went by. I found that I couldn't work in peace. Just being there made me upset. I had to say something. I'm fine on my own. Alright, we gotta figure out what voice. Um, if you want to take a break or something, you can. I'm fine on my own. Hey, no, I don't mind doing this. I see. Can't take. Can't, can't you take the hint? That I, I thought then. Hit some. It's my back, you know. What? Don, back. Don's back hurts a lot. So I, I asked to switch. Oh, oh, I see. He has terrible, he has trouble with it, with the lower shelves, so I get it. I didn't do it to bother you, I swear. I said I get it. Okay. We went on restocking in silence. For about another minute. Hum. I know you don't like me very much, so I thought you might think I was bothering you on purpose. So I'm sorry. I sighed. <sighs> Alright. Who says I don't like you? Huh? Don't you? You're always avoiding me. Yeah, don't take it personally. That's how, that's just how I am. I don't care about other people. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> if I could go back in time, I'd punch myself in the mouth. I would. I'd punch you in the mouth for you, bud. So, you like me? What? No, I didn't say that. Get a clue. Haha, <laughs> ha, just kidding. We didn't talk the rest of the day, so I thought that was that. She'll leave me alone, I thought. Now that she knows, I prefer that it that way. But she didn't. I've always thanked my lucky stars that she didn't leave me alone after that. Maybe she should have. No. For her own sake. I hope she can forgive me. Writing about the past has gone. Has been a good idea. Right now, it doesn't even bother me where I am or who I'm with. And thinking of Grace, remembering the way she smiled, is giving me courage. She got hurt because of me, so I will do anything to make her happy and safe. Weather was nice out today. The sky was blue.
We should start singing Mr. Blue Sky. There's a tiny window on the wall to my left. I can look through it if I twist my head around. That small patch of the sky is the only beautiful thing around here. That and my memories of her. Oh, we're back. Great. Hi, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hi. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Let's give it our all today. Today? <laughs> yep. Let's do it. Um. Your uniform is kind of all wrinkly, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it is. I haven't got an iron, so. Jeez. You're really hopeless, aren't you? I wouldn't go that far. I could iron your clothes for you, if you said pretty please. August 8th. It's not my birthday no more, god. After that one time, Grace started coming up to me more and more and talking to me more and more. It was a gradual thing. Just hello and goodbye. And how are you doing at first? Eventually, they grew into full conversations. Well, I say full conversations. They were still pretty bare bones. I noticed how friendly she was being, of course. But I didn't push her away. I couldn't tell any tell why I didn't do that. I surprised myself every day by not telling her to screw off. Hey, Jack? Oh, hey, Jack? There's this bar down the street, uh, down the road. I uh, hear it's a good place to go. So how about we go there after work to relax? Oh, she wants to bone Jack. Ooh. And when she asked me out for drinks, I surprised myself further by saying sure. Oh, here we go. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. How do you like it here? It's nice, is it? It's alright, I guess. I really don't know, honestly. I don't go pl to places like this. Oh, well, I don't either. Not a lot. But I thought it would be fun, you know? Grace ordered a Jack and Coke. She's drinking Jack now, huh? Alright. I don't know what to get, so I asked for one too. Our drinks came quickly. They were cool and pleasantly sweet, but I couldn't enjoy mine. I was in a bad mood. The wait the waitress had giggled while talking while taking my order and it took me took as a insult. Or it was something else. Just as dumb. I can't remember exactly. Ah. Feels good to relax after a long day's work of work, doesn't it? I grumbled. Uh, what is it, Jack? Nothing. I sip my drink. Um, is something bothering you, isn't it? I said no, it's nothing. I'm just not cut out for this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to drink the drink if you don't want to. I don't mean that. I mean all this. I gestured at everything around us. Doing things with people. Huh? Why? You wouldn't get, get it even if I explained it. Y you're just too different. I've had it rough in life. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself now. I will. It would be a shame not to do fun things just because of that. Let me just get a quick drink in here. 
All right, we're good. Back to it. No, what I'm saying is, it's just not fun for me. I don't like this. How can you say that? We've barely even been here for 10 minutes. I just know. She didn't really seem happy I said that. S so you want to leave? Uh, I hadn't actually thought of leaving. I just complained to complain. Well, well, you can leave. You can leave. Not yet. Oh yeah? Yes. If you keep going like this, you're never gonna have any fun in life. So promise me that you'll at least give being with me a chance. Oh god. You want me to stay here longer? Yes. At least another hour. A whole hour? Please, please? Da da da. <laughs> I had to, sorry. Fine, I can do an hour. Thank you. No, wait, no, 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 wait. Thank you! You won't regret it. Yeah, sure. I don't know why I gave her an English accent. It's the only one I could think of, so now I gotta do an English accent. God. It seemed like such a long time. There was a clock on the, uh, on the wall opposite to me. It was going to stare at me for a whole hour counting down the minutes. Then when the hour passed, I would get up and leave. Simple as that. But then something happened. Grace was having trouble. I have ne I had never seen her so awkward. She was stammering and struggling to find stuff to talk about. I realized it was because I was just sitting there, barely saying anything. I was acting so grumpy too that we couldn't ha that couldn't have helped. Back in the store with so many distractions around us. It had been easy for her to chat with me, so, so every if you often chat with me so often, a few words here and there. I hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't had to to do much back then, back then besides nod. Sitting down, taking talking face to face is sim I simply couldn't work like that. After more than a few failed attempts to get the ball rolling, Grace gave up. She just sat she sat there, looking at her drink instead of at me. She was mostly uh, likely working up the courage to end th this early. In a few minutes, I'd be free to leave. I found I couldn't st stand that, so I started talking. I said the first thing that came to mind, no matter how stupid. I don't know why I did it. It feels so unlike me, but feeling bad for someone and talking with no filter. Or well, unlike the past me. Buddy, that's just me. That It's always it's, <laughs> the both feeling bad for someone and talking with, a, with no filter. It's pretty much just me. It's true. It's me. Maybe I was finally warming up to Grace, or maybe it was oh, the alcohol. I don't know. Maybe it was both. The reason I don't, it doesn't matter. The reason doesn't matter. What matters is that I, it happened. Back then, there were, was a part of me that never relaxed, no matter what. No, it wasn't even the part of me pretty much at all. Pretty much all of me was like that. Like a fist that wouldn't unclench. But now I found I could relax. A little, little by little, by little. And before I knew it, I was really having fun in this girl's presence. Talking to her, laughing with her, simply spending time with her. What we talked about, I don't remember. 
what do I remember? What 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 I do remembers is that I, what I do remembers is what I do remember is that is I had more fun than I had in years. They fucked up with the grammar. When the hour passed, I didn't say anything. We stayed for there for hours longer. I do remember one thing we talked about actually. We somehow got on the topic of family. What's your family like, Jack? Uh, I I can't say. Oh, I see. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I'm sorry I asked. I'm kind of not on speaking terms with my family either. What? Why is that? That's um. Actually, I don't really talk with other people all that much. We'll hang out with them. Well, outside of work, I'm kind of alone a lot of the time. What? Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that this surprised me. I was surprised a lot back then. I never thought Grace was anything like me. But you're so. F but you're so friendly with the people at the store. That's all it is. It's not that I wanted to spend more time with them, but I don't know. It feels like if I let them in, they're just going to turn out not nice. But you're different. You're just trying to get by. I don't think you'd use someone. God, when I say it like that, it doesn't sound right at all. You must think I'm really weird. I'm, s I'm sorry. No, I don't think you are. It makes sense that you'd say what you said. R really? Thank you, Jack. I really hope that you'd understand, and I'm so happy that you did, that you do. I really feel like you're someone I can trust. Trust. Some of my shit's kinda shitty, I gotta get better at my British accent. We went for drinks again next week, and then once more a week a the week after. The so week after that, we had dinner together. A greasy little restaurant where we could afford to eat. I tried to impress her by ordering wine. I'd never had wine. <laughs> it was disgusting, but I had guessed it would be disgusting, so I forced my way <laughs> through the glass anyway. I even said it was delicious. <laughs> Grace tried some, she told me. She told me it was spoiled. <laughs> She teased the hell out of me for that. It wasn't bitter. It wasn't bitter about it. I wasn't bitter about it, sorry. I laughed along. Strange how quickly people can change sometimes. Soon we started going out more often. To bars, cheap restaurants, places like that. We took a lot of walks together, too. And one time we even went to the movies. After a month of this, I asked Grace if she'd be my girlfriend. What? I'm not your girlfriend already. Oh. That's how it went. That's how it went. Oh god. August 9th. Okay. A few weeks later, she told me what had happened to her when she still lived with her family. I'd known for a while that something had happened. Someone she hadn't shared with anyone before. 
something she hadn't shared with anyone before. But when she told me that was when she told me what it was, a few of the things she said. No, I shouldn't write it down here. It feels wrong. It's not mine to tell. What if someone found this journal? I had never imagined she was living with such a burden. When I found out, if I felt crushed. That's... I know. God, I feel like an idiot. And after I told you I'd had it rough. No, it's, it's fine. I don't feel bad it, it, about it, please. You've got your troubles and I've got mine. <laughs> I know, but can't we do something? There's, n there's nothing to do. It's all over now. All I can do is keep looking forward. You know? I'm just trying to give him like a little bit more like see make it seem like a more of a conversation. That's what I'm trying to do. I hugged her and told her how brave she was for telling me. I told her I'd protect her safe forever and I meant it. And I failed her. But that comes later. For now I figured I should tell her what my own troubles have been. Um, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. It's okay. I, I do want to. I managed to keep quiet about my past. I had only alluded to two things. To things. Now, I told her everything. It wasn't a long story. What? Nothing? You don't remember anything? Okay, that's not exactly nothing. But ten years are fuzzy. And everything before that's like... It's like... It doesn't exist. What about your family? I don't know. Maybe I had one. It, I was... In a lot of... Institutions before I turned 18. Oh, Jack... I'll tell you about those times if you want, but there's not a lot to tell. Nothing really happened to me, ever happened to me. I wish I could tell you everything about my life, but I, I really do, but I can't. That's fine. That's not. <laughs> did you ever try to find, did you ever try to find out about my life before then? Yeah. Oh, what? I, I didn't. Why not? I, I don't know. I, I, and I just never felt like it, I guess. I must have known even back then that some memories are best left buried. I'm, I'm sure I would like to, I'm sure I would like to remember if I couldn't. But you're fine with it. Yeah. Well, okay. Tell me about the times that you can remember them. So I went on to tell her about the few bl bland memories I had. Oh. Alright, well. Well, that's it for today then. So uh, that's th that's the next chapter. So we're gonna end wrap it up here. So if you did uh, like the video, then drop a like, drop a sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.